Hello Aquarius, welcome to your weekly intuitive reading. And wow, the sun just came out very bright as I started um, the recording for your reading. So hello sunshine, I am home for the day. We have a snow day here where I live. So it's nice to see that the snow finally ended and the sun is now out. This is a message for sun, moon, or rising in the sign of Aquarius. As always, keep in mind that these are general messages. So take what resonates for you and leave the rest. If you're interested in having a personal one-to-one -one reading with me, you can book that through my website, which is bethechange333.com. And all of my information is in the description box below this video. Okay, let's begin. What's the message for Aquarius? Okay, I love this message. Don't give up. Don't give up. I um, was just channeling a lot of information about this um, in my Facebook Live this morning. If you are not on Facebook or following me on Facebook, please do, because I do lives on over there as well. Don't give up. Oh, yeah, okay. Don't give up, Aquarius. We go through these dips, these challenges, these extreme highs and lows at, at times. And as I was explaining in that live that I did earlier this morning, um, sometimes it feels like when we get dipped down into denser energies or we're revisiting the past it feels like we're going backwards and it can be very frustrating it can be very exhausting and it can lead us to um just wanting to quit and maybe you need to surrender but don't give up don't give up on yourself don't give up on your dreams don't give up on the journey we are still ascending we are still elevating in frequency and elevating in consciousness but we do go through waves frequency waves so we're up and we're down and we're up and then we're down but we are ascending we're going up and down as we are elevating in consciousness and so we're in the higher um vibrations and we're feeling good and we're feeling more connected to our higher self to source we're receiving a lot of beautiful gifts and insights and perceptions and guidance then we dip down into the lower frequencies and sometimes we forget because uh, it, uh, instantly other emotions come online fear anger sadness um depression and they can take hold and we forget what it was that we just learned or experienced or what we were given in the higher vibrations but eventually we do click back in we bring that we're bringing what we have the perception the lessons the energy from the higher wave down to the lower wave point and then each time we ascend we have a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more so don't give up is what i'm trying to say i hope i didn't butcher it i have a whole visual of what i'm trying to say but they're saying, yeah, that's, you get the gist, what I'm trying to say here. We have judgment. We have six of cups. <sighs> we have 10 of cups with the four of wands. All right, well, I love when the cards basically just reiterate exactly what I just said literally reiterating what I just said. So judgment, you see how you're uh, ascending, you're connecting to your higher self, you're awakening, 
your perception, your consciousness is elevated, your feeling, your connection to source, to God, to creator. Then when we dip down, we dip down, we start to reminisce, I'm hearing, but more than reminisce, it's, it's um, a longing for things, something in life to either go back to a, a specific place in time in your life that felt loving and just felt good. Six of Cups. And instead of latching on to longing for the past to come back, bring the awareness, the consciousness, the element, the energy from the higher frequency that you were in down with you, where you are. Ten of Cups, Four of Wands. So that you can enjoy this connection and this love <sighs> down in your home base <laughs> what I'm hearing um, we're learning we are learning we're getting our sea legs I'm hearing for those of you who are following the wave concept so that we can find more of a balance but it's still a way of, of balancing um, it's preparing. We're always being prepared for the next cycle, for the next experience. Don't give up. Don't give up. Things are going to be looking up. They always do. They always do. But what can we do when we're in energy that may not feel as pleasant? Remember. Remember where you were when it was feeling pleasant and bring that awareness, that consciousness. I just heard something um, in with you, wherever you are. Bring that energy with you wherever you are and eventually it will stick. It will stay. When you're not so wounded and, and not so triggered. Don't give up. This year is a pivotal year for change and growth and evolution for all of humanity and um it's it, it's been happening subtly for quite some time but this is a big year of bigger catalysts for change sometimes they can be a bit abrupt sometimes they can be a bit intense but ultimately, you are not alone. Don't give up. For whoever I'm speaking to out there who just wants to, like, sink back into your old self, you can try. But it's, I'm going to tell you right now, it's not going to feel very good. And maybe you need to. Maybe you need to to ha come to that recogni recognition. Solar plexus. This is the, um, again, I was speaking about this this morning. Chiron. Moving into a conjunction with the North Node in Aries. Um, it is going to be assisting us, giving us an opportunity to heal or work through healing our core wounds, um, our insecurities, our shame, our low self-esteem linked to childhood wounds and past experiences. This is another level of awakening that we are currently moving through and we will be moving through this part of the energy up until the, at least, I was saying up until the next eclipse in, in April. Um, but the last time we had Chiron conjunct the North Node was 2008. So that was the last catalog catalyst that really triggered these 
emotional and psychological wounds that are coming back, resurfacing again. Self-esteem is coming up big for solar plexus chakra, which is linked to our, our strength, our will, our drive to make great changes, to be confident in ourselves and wherever we are being led, wherever we're being pulled, wherever we feel a resonance. Don't give up. Don't give up. This is a great day to do readings. No wonder I'm snowed in today. I'm feeling a lot of the, the energy just channel through me very strongly today. One of the things that may be um, bringing you into a wish, a longing for the past, the old ways, the good old days when things were easier, maybe when technology was not so um, everywhere and where we were communicating and connecting with each other um, in the physical more. Um, as well as just things they may have seemed easier in the good old days, Six of Cups. For whatever reason, there's financial and material change here. And I'm, I'm picking up on a fear of the current time. Where am I going? How am I going to make this work? Uh, I don't, things are way more scary and intense and confusing and I don't resonate with with how I'm going to survive financially materially in this world like I used to like I once did but that is an illusion don't give up this is actually a very fertile time for creation and creating great change so use the tools Aquarius that you have been given the lessons, the, uh, the energy that you have brought forth with you when you were in the higher elements, the higher vibration, when it was just like, yeah, everything's going to be okay. The confidence, the faith, and the trust. Overall, we have destiny. There's our north node. All right. We start off. I'm going to see that I see this as Chiron helping us heal these old wounds so that we can fully move into our destined future. Wisdom below that. So this message just continues to loop itself around. Again, if you're not on Facebook or if you are on Facebook, but you're not following me, go ahead and check out the live that I did earlier this morning. I spell all of this energy out. I might come on YouTube later, what if I feel called to? But anyway, this is coming through in your reading very strongly. Don't give up. All right, Aquarius, I'm going to get you one last message here and um, some advice. So if you're liking this video, please don't forget to click the like button, the thumbs up button below the video. Feel free to comment. I love to read all your comments. And if you are not subscribed, please subscribe. All right, Aquarius. Let's get you some advice. And remember, don't give up. Things are not as they seem. Spirit of Fire. Goes well with that solar plexus card.
transformation. Take risks, face your fears, break out of old patterns and conventions. Just because you've always done something in the past doesn't mean that you need to continue to do it in the future. Try something new, change your routines and habits, reach out in new directions. The Thunderbird is rising in you, out of the ashes, come new growth, and new beginnings. Your native spirit wants you to know in native cultures, fire was thought to be gifts from the creator that carried the power of renewal. Fire can maintain life and it can destroy it. It is the warmth of the tribal fire, but it's also the thundering lightning bolt cast down from the sky. It can purify and transform and it can annihilate. Fire represents your life force, the spark of life within you, and also the pure white light within you. The spirit of fire invites you to take some risks and face your fears. We often are reacting to situations because of preconditioned responses based on our self-generating definition of self. Every time you change an old habit, even changing to a different breakfast food, it helps you begin to step out of a limiting definition of self. Purification by fire creates transformation. Take care to keep your energy in balance. Fire that burns too brightly burns out, but a fire that's left to smolter dies. Don't give up Aquarius. Keep your fire tended to have faith, have trust, mostly in yourself. I'm picking up a lot of self-doubt here. So you might want to revisit, maybe you're being asked to revisit certain times of your life where your self-esteem and self-worth was compromised and brought this belief, this limiting, self-limiting belief to you. So that's what I have for you this week, Aquarius. I hope that you found this to be helpful for you. And I'm sending you out so much love. Take care. Bye.